Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yasser and today I'm going to be doing this bridal hairstyle. It's very cute and very simple to do. I've done a style that are kind of similar. I'm basically combining two styles that I did in the past and I just found an easier way to do them. But it's like a variation of two styles and I'm combining them into one style in this video. I'm starting on hair that is very, very dirty. I just took off the crochet that I had done. I'm going to insert a picture and I'm going to leave the video link down below if you want to look at it. But I'm just basically pulling my hair into a bun. I plan to wash my hair right after this. I like doing the bridal hairstyles when I'm going to wash my hair because I can use as much gel as I want to because I'll be washing my hair right after because I'm not going to wear this hairstyle like an everyday kind of thing so yeah so I'm just laying my hair flat and I'm going to leave a little section as you can see and I'm not going to pull that into the bun I'm going to do a flat twist you can do a corn roll if that is much easier for you to do or you can just roll and tuck it and make sure that it's tight enough for you to be able to do crochet on that little line So I just went off camera, put on a scarf and I hide it in until my hair was sort of semi dry. If you're doing this for your wedding, make sure your hair is dry, especially if you have outfit changes. It's just better when your hair is dry so that it doesn't move when you rub it on anything. I'm using this pack of twists that I bought. I mean, this hair, guys, is so, so amazing. I hope I'll be able to find this brand and be able to link it for you guys. And apart from the hair, you also need like the donut bun, a crochet needle and a lot of pins. So I'm going to start by crocheting six pieces of hair at that little line. This one I'm going to take the little tail and hide it into the twist. And then after that I'm just going to continue doing all the other crochet. So I ended up doing uh, six crochets at the front. I tried doing five and I was not very happy with, with how it looked like. So I decided to go in and add a sixth one uh, at the end just to add more volume on the bang. Now that the front is done, we're just going to tie it into the little bun at the back and then we're going to put on the donut bun after that. I use just four pins to secure the donut bun because I place the pins strategically. If you can see the way I'm placing the pins, make sure they're laying, they are laying uh, in a way that they're not going to poke your head because if you're poking your head with the pins, it might be uh, quite painful and annoying, especially if you're wearing the style for the whole day. And now I'm just taking the twist. I'm just basically taking one twist at a time and I'm tying it around the donut bun. <laughs> and I'm using the pins to secure the twist into place. I can't see my back, so sometimes I turn in the back to just to look in the mirror to make sure everything is it to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. But now that I think of it, if I turn to the mirror, it means I'm not seeing the back of my head. Anyways, you know what? We're not here to discuss that. <laughs> But I basically put the twist around until the bun is completely covered. I mean, this is so much easier to do than the style that I did. That kind of looked like this, but I did uh, braids for that instead of like the twist. And I had like a bun at the back that was not like twist. I'm going to insert a picture so you can see that. And I'm going to leave the video link down below if you want to check out how I did that one. But this hair is just so, so amazing, guys. Like I don't know how to tell you. Like It matches my hair so well that I'll probably... I'll be buying this brand of hair like all the time from now on when I'm doing updos. So I pretty much used one pack to this point, like doing the front and the back of the bun, but I needed one extra of the second pack, like one piece to just finish off the bun in the back. So you can probably get away with just using one pack, especially if your twists are longer than the ones that I have right now. But yeah. But I'd get like two packs just in case you run out of the hair and if it's your wedding, it's an emergency. So you can't go to the store back again. But one pack I think might be able to work. So to the front, I'm just going to add this little uh, sort of like diamond-ish accessories. They're not real. <laughs> and you can find them on Amazon. Amazon has them for quite a cheap price. I think they sell like 40 of them for $8. Or you can find them on AliExpress. 
and then at the back i'm just adding this other pin again these pins are also available on aliexpress i've not seen them on amazon i've tried to find them because people ask me all the time why i bought them i bought them from icing.com but i've not been able to find them on amazon i don't think icing ships everywhere so try amazon or aliexpress to find them but this is basically it for the hairstyle guys sorry i've been gone for a long time i've just been going through a creative dump <laughs> and i've just not been feeling very creative lately so uh i'm kind of getting into it and i was sick for quite some time so yeah i'm getting back into it and i'll be uploading regularly i hope you enjoy this hairstyle if you did and you have not subscribed yet girl go on ahead and subscribe and even all subscriber thank you for being fabulous and being patient with me i'm back like i'm literally back okay i'll be posting another video i think on thursday this week so make sure you check that out as well but this is it for the hairstyle guys thanks for coming by the channel if you're going to try it let me know and if you can send me a picture or check me out on instagram i go by underscore yes okay i hope i see you guys on the channel next time so have a nice nice week and i will see you guys on thursday bye